What is up everyone, Clayton here, and today we're back with another Skyrim build. Today's build is called the Ranger. The Ranger is a wood elf, and the backstory goes like this. The Ranger was a hunter for her clan in Valingwood. Her with her dog companion took down all sorts of prey and provided food for her entire clan. On one of her hunts, she got cornered by a Sin's tiger and sustained many injuries. She thought she was dead, so she closed her eyes and awaited her death. When she opened her eyes, a spectral wolf stood before her. It was an aspect of Yifre, Yifre being the most important deity to the Bosmer. The aspect told her that this would not be her death, and that the ranger had more to do in the name of Yifre. The aspect told her to head to Skyrim to find her new powers. The aspect also gave her the powers to spawn her own spectral wolves to fight by her side. The ranger then headed out towards Skyrim and got caught crossing the border, and that's where we pick up her story. So pretty much the ranger combines the skills that she got from the aspect, also the Bosmer's natural ability to work with the wild and the forest, and pretty much her Bosmer skills with archery. So the skills that you'll be using for this build is illusion, conjuration, archery, sneak, and light armor. Illusion is used to be able to use your illusion magic to control animals to fight by your side. You can use calming spells or fury spells to make sure that any animals around you can fight by your side. Also the Bosmer special power or the racial power makes it so a animal will fight by their side once per day. Which is pretty good, maybe you can get a mammoth and make it fight by your side, which is what I do here in the video later on. Conjuration is to conjure the special tiger or the special wolves that fight by your side. They're called Conjure Familiar, so that's the spell I would pick up. Also, Flaming Familiar is pretty good. It is a fire wolf that explodes, and it's also pretty good at early game, but it kind of falls off during the higher levels. Since they are a wood elf, they are natural with archery, and that's your main damage ability. Also, Sneak is something that she used when she was a hunter to sneak up on her prey. Light Armor is used as a way to make sure you don't die, and it's pretty much the best armor in the game, because Heavy Armor reaches its cap so quickly. So the weapon and armor that you'll be using for this build is pretty straightforward. You'll be using a ebony, not an ebony bow, but an elven bow, because you are an elf. If you want to use an ebony bow, go ahead and knock yourself out. For the armor, I use the scaled armor, because I think it looks pretty cool. You could also use the hide or fur armor to roleplay a little bit more, as she killed her own prey to make her own armor. For the spells, I covered them a little bit, but the conjure familiar and flaming familiar are the spells that you'd use a lot. Pretty much what you're going to do is that you're going to conjure those familiars, fight by your side. You also have your dog companion, which you can get Miko. You could get the Vigilant, which you can get from Markarth. Or maybe you could even get one of the Dawn Guard DLC dogs or trolls to fight by your side. It just kind of depends on what kind of companion you want to have fighting by your side. So for the gameplay, I kind of already talked about it. But pretty much what you want to do is that you want to have your dog as well as the Spectral Wolves fight by your side and be able to tank so you don't have to get hit. You summon them and then they will get hit for you and you can just fling arrows at them. The Flaming Familiars, like I said, are really good at early levels because they do a lot of damage. But the later on in the game you go, the Flaming Familiars don't really do much damage and also can hurt your pet dog, so you might want to watch out for that. There's other shouts in the game you might want to pick up. Animal Allegiance comes to mind because you can use that shout to get an animal to fight by your side. And kind of further the role playing ability that you are a Bosmer and you can you're one with the forest and one with the forest animals. And I think that's kind of what this whole build's about, is that you want to use all the familiars that you have, all the animals to fight by your side. The stat spread for this build is pretty simple. You'll be using magicka and health and stamina, so you want to have a good mix. The Conjure Familiar spell doesn't really cost very much magicka, so you should just be able to get the perk to lower the cost of it. And then you're pretty much set. So I'd say a baseline of about 200 to 250 Magicka is good. Health you can put it up as high as you want. And Stamina is something that's really up to you. If you really like a lot of Stamina, make sure you put a lot of Stamina. I'm not really a big fan of Stamina, so you don't really have to do anything with that. But yeah, this is a pretty simple build. I really, really like this build. It's probably one of my favorite that I've made. Just because Archery is one of my favorite. Also, you actually get to use the Conjure Familiar and the Flaming Familiar, and there's a role-playing aspect as you're one with the nature, you're one with the forest animals, and they fight by your side. So I think that's really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Also, if you haven't checked out these two Skyrim builds here, make sure to check those out. 
Anyways, thank you much for watching, and this is Clayton, signing out.